This is to do with something that I'm quite sure we've all been reading about in the news over the past couple of months, and some of us have had our suspicions for quite a bit of time now, but we eventually got some really good news a couple of months ago when it came to Tom Daly. Basically, myself and probably at some point most other gay men at some point in their lives have actually thought Tom Daly is gay. Just definitely. I mean, everything from like how he acts, to the way that he speaks the things that he does that kind of thing it just screamed out oh my god he's gay now of course there is nothing wrong with being gay that isn't any any sort of an issue here the, the actual issue is the way that he's kind of being dealt with at the moment so let's rewind a couple of well a couple of months ago now to when he first came out hi guys one thing that I consider to be pretty important is to have some form of private life. And, I mean, you're probably thinking, well, why did you do a book and why did you do a documentary and all that kind of stuff? But I've only ever talked about things I feel comfortable talking about. Well, in an ideal world, I wouldn't be doing this video. Now I kind of feel ready to talk about my relationships. Come spring this year, <laughs> my life changed massively when I met someone and they make me feel so happy so safe and everything just feels great and well that someone is a guy and it did take me by surprise a little bit um I mean it was always in the back of my head that something like that could happen, but it wasn't until spring this year that something just clicked. It felt right, and I was like, mm, okay. And like I said, my whole world just changed right there and then. And, you know, and <laughs> of course I still fancy girls, but I mean, right now I'm dating a guy and I couldn't be happier. Pay particular attention to that little bit again. Just where he says, I still, what is it, fancy girls or something like that? Of course I still fancy girls, but I mean, right now I'm dating a guy and I couldn't be happier. I mean, a lot of people at that time will have gotten the sort of thing of he's come out as bisexual, which it is easily done. Um, but as, as a person who's come out myself, um, I do kind of need to clarify a little bit on that. Obviously, I'm not Tom Daly. I don't know exactly what he meant when he said that. But what a lot of people do um, initially when they come out is they will come out first as bisexual. And that kind of is sort of like dipping your toe into a pool. Like, you know, just is the water cold or hmm, I don't know. Instead of just jumping straight into it as Tom Daly does for a living. Um, but what um what what i mean by it all is that basically you know he he could have actually meant it to come across as he sounds bisexual because he's then on the ground of you know if he didn't get a good reaction from it from the people he could have turned around and said well actually i still fancy girls and that's it you know it was just a phase that i was going through that kind of thing and it, it's kind of dusted off after a little bit and just been like oh leave it to one side forget about it Obviously, the reaction from the general public was of quite a good reaction. Um, so, a couple of days ago, he actually came out as fully gay. So, did he mean to sound as if it is bisexual, or was that just a bit of a miscommunication thing? The way that it could be a miscommunication thing is because even I, to this day, still get asked questions about, do you fancy girls, and basically that kind of that kind of question but worded in different ways and there's never a straight answer that I can actually give to that <laughs> no pun intended but basically what people mean when they ask that question is do you still find women sexually attractive and the answer to that is no I don't but I will always say to, to people that it's not a case of finding women sexually attractive I can still look at a woman and go you look amazing like you look really good like you are the definition of fit but I wouldn't go to bed and sleep with them well I I would sleep with them but it, no sex would happen <laughs> completely past the point here anyway so 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 th th there is 
a sort of thing there where for a little bit of time you could be taken as bisexual but you're actually not so I don't know whether he meant to come out as bisexual at first or whether it's just taken that that's the way that he was the thing that really started to bug me after that is how Tom Daly was treated um, not only in the news but when he was doing interviews on the telly and the radio and all that kind of stuff because I remember he did a show uh, uh, in the UK with Jonathan Ross and um, Jonathan Ross congratulated him on coming out and said you know, how brave he was to do it and everything like that what what hasn't happened is that every single person who's come out hasn't had that treatment and it's not to say that you know everyone who comes out should get the same treatment i mean a lot of people that come out these days are still subject to you know losing their families friends falling out not talking to them um you know in in some quite rare cases still beaten to the point you think they're going to die um you know that there are some really horrific cases out there when people do come out but you know I, I think that for a little bit of time in in the kind of media world tom daly was like this this hero and it's like well hang on <laughs> what happened to the hundreds of other people that came out that day right across the world you know where's their congratulations because i'm not being funny but tom daly came out to people who probably knew something was going on a little bit there i know i did i know a lot of other gay people did as well i know some straight people that were questioning it so we could see from the outside it wasn't necessarily going to be a really bad reaction so is he a hero for coming out <laughs> i'm afraid not since he's come out though and you know he went off and did all these interviews and made a ton of money uh from coming out um which obviously you know everyone's happy about um the, the, he's been sort of made into this kind of celebrity that okay yeah he he does the diving and you know he's good at it and everything like that but what my main concern is is that he's kind of been like uh, the other week he did a program called celebrity juice which for non-UK viewers, you're not going to know what it is, and trust me, you don't want to know what it is. But he he went on it, and it, it's it's one of them like comedy, sort of question and answer type show things. There's panels of people, and it's complex. But um, yeah, he's he's been doing quite a few appearances like that, and part of me thinks in the back of my mind, like um, if if he's being made out to be this celebrity. Is, are we taking time away from him actually doing the diving? Like, okay, I know he's good at what he does and everything like that, but everyone needs to still perfect the trade, if I can put it like that. And, you know, you, you see some countries that are already hammering the practice, ready for the next Olympics, ready for, you know, the next time that they can win a medal that they have to prove we are the best country at diving and all that kind of stuff. And I'm not really seeing much training coming from Tom Daly while he's doing TV shows and interviews and that kind of stuff. This isn't a personal attack on him at all. This is simply me just voicing a little bit of concern here. You know, I think that what needs to happen is he needs to go back and do his trade like yeah he came out yeah he's had his 15 minutes of fame and everything like that but let him go back to his trade and just get on with it you know i mean okay a person's sexuality does not define if they're a good swimmer or a good diver or a good athlete in any way um so you know we're over it let's let him go back to doing the diving